Hello and welcome back guys. In today's video, I will teach you how to make a hangman game. We are going to create a file in utility called createHangman.js and it is going to take this state variable which will tell us what kind of body part should be blurred or not. So we are starting by creating a canvas and then we are going to make our line width to 5. That is 5 pixels. So you might be wondering what the hell is create line? Don't worry, I have got you. So I am going to create a custom function called create line put it in the end of the file and we are going to take some parameters ctx from x from y to x to y and then the color and by default it is going to be black so what i'm doing in this function is i'm starting a path and then i'm choosing the color for the stroke and then i'm creating a line and then i'm closing the path i'm doing this so that we don't have to write the same thing again so first of all we have to create the pole so this is the pole so i'm gonna do create line and i have already calculated all the axes and you can adjust everything later on according to your needs the first property is the x axis starting x axis and this is the starting y axis and this is the ending x axis and this is the ending y axis same for every damn create line and after this we have to create our head we cannot create a head in with our line to create a circle first of all we have to choose the color via stroke style so if the state is less than one head will be of gray color and if the state is not less than one then it is going to be black i will tell you the logic later on this is the x and y axis and this is the radius of our head and then these are the angles you don't have to touch them at all and then we are just stroking the text that means create the circle and ending the path. Then we are creating the main body. This is like the stomach and chest area. These are the hands. Then we have the leg. And then we are just returning the image. And now let's go back to our hangman. So this will be our command and I'm gonna tell you how the hell everything works so that you can easily make this thing and I'm really sorry that I'm not writing it. First of all we are differing the reply and then I'm gonna use the leg to declare a few variables. This is equals to that state variable. It means how many times user choose a wrong character. And then at it is the image. It is going to be a new message attachment and don't forget to import this from discord.js package and then we are using the await function to create the hangman we have to import this from our utility file and then we are creating the image and this file's name will be game.png i have created a file called word and it has like 40,000 words inside it and you just have to go on your hangman.js and create a variable called words and then you are gonna use a read file sync function to read that file then we are gonna split it according to slash n and then we are gonna choose a random words from them we just have to do math.flow and then we have to do math.random multiplied by words dot length we will get a random word every time and now comes the game logic we have to send a message we are just going to send this file which have the add thing and then a simple embed saying hang game and we are adding that image right here because its name is game.png the description saying type a character to guess a word and then we are just going to split this word and then it is a simple logic for creating these decks in place of those characters by the way we also have a variable called use it is an array it will introduce the character that we already use and now we have to start a message collect so we have a simple filter and a timing of 10 minutes we are fetching this character via message.content and then we are converting it to lowercase and then if the character is not a letter then we are saying yo you have to provide a letter we are checking if this character is already used and if it is already used we are just saying yo you already used this letter and by the way i'm adding these dot then thing it is for like automatically deleting the messages and i'm just gonna add this catch thing so that if we do not have any permission to read the message, we will our bot will not break if we add this dot catch thing. So we are just deleting the messages after five seconds. And then we are just pushing the character to the used variable. If bird do not include this character, that means it is a wrong character. Then we are gonna do wrong plus plus. And this means that another body part will be hanged now. We have this done thing. In this, we are just checking if the every character of this word is already used by the user if that is true that means that the user bought and if the wrong says equals to six that means user made a mistake six times that means they lost that's what we are doing and then we are sending a simple message please cite it properly so we are doing you if done then won otherwise not otherwise that means the filler neither won nor lost then we are just going to say the same thing type a character to guess the word and then this word or split thing that is just for adding these dashes and the used word you will see the thing in action then you will understand it properly and then we are just ed editing the message first of all removing the old attachment adding the new file and then the, our simple embed and this color thing is like if words are equals to six wrong then red if done then green otherwise are end of color and at last we are doing our final if check if the user lost or won the game then just end the collect because we don't want to read the messages for unlimited time and then we have a, have a simple collector and event that is user take up way too much time to complete the game then we are just gonna say game ended you took too much time to respond and now let me show you the thing in action so that you can understand what it did so guys now we are in and now let me show you the game so if i do slash hangman you can see that bot responds as with this thing and right now the body is gray that means the person is not hanged yet if i type a character like i 
so you can see that it worked because the i in, is inside that word and if i type q you will see that it didn't work and this time the the head of the person is added and now if i type something like three you are gonna see that i will going to get an error and it says you have to provide a letter not a number or symbol and then if i provide o you will see that it was in there and now let me provide q again and you will see that i already used this character and you will see that it was not there as well so the hand is added if i provide l you will see that same thing and if i provide f and then, provide, then let's provide g and bam the player died and now let me try playing hangman once more so that i can show you that the words are changed every time if i provide i this time you can see that it wasn't in the word so the word is changed and everything is working absolutely fine please let me know if you have any suggestion for this game I will love to work on it and till then bye thanks a lot for watching